The Hyundai i20 is probably the last car you'd expect to have the sporty treatment. But with manufacturers such as Opel, Chevrolet, as well as Suzuki, all bringing out their sporty versions of their B-segment cars, perhaps the Koreans thought, hey, why not? The Sport is distinguished from lesser i20s by the fitment of side skirts, more aggressive front and rear bumpers, and a roof spoiler. Our favourite touch, though, is the thin-spoke 17-inch wheels, which give the car a customised look. Minor tweaks to the engine have freed up 14% more power and an additional 27 newton meters of torque, while the stainless steel free-flow exhaust provides a matching soundtrack. The suspension has been lowered and stiffened, which should aid road holding and make for a more engaging drive. I must say, just from the outside, it looks the part, it looks really good. The question is, how does it perform when it actually go out, flat out on the course with it? Even from the inside, it does sound 40, you know? The acceleration is not mind-blowing, but it feels a little bit more racy than uh, the standard model. And even from the handling point of view, it's sharper and it's more engaging. I'm actually quite impressed, it feels really good. It really does feel good. Let's see. Not the brakes, I think even the tires make a big world of a difference. Accelerate. Turn in. Car turns in nicely and sharp. And accelerate all the way down. And the last corner, hard on the brakes. Get it right, turn in. Nice. Today we drove the Hyundai i20, the sporty version. I must say I was fairly impressed with the looks of the car, especially with the skirtings as well as the added bumpers at the back. But in terms of performance wise, I wish it could have had more Vuma. But nonetheless, I would drive this car on a daily basis.